Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial we are going to see, how to create, light streak logo animation in After Effects. So let's see the preview. To perform this tutorial, you need, your logo, and flare 1 and 2, you can download it from below link in the description. In this tutorial we are going to use Saba plugin, you can download this for free from below link in the description. So without any wait let's start creating our logo animation. Create a new composition. Name it as animation. Set time duration to 8 seconds. Now first let's create our background. Create a new solid. Name it as background. Now in effects and preset search for ramp. Add ramp to the solid layer. Now let's change ramp and color. Perfect. Now let's add our logo to the timeline. You can scale your logo if needed. Now let's pre-compose our logo. Name it as logo. Now we need to auto trace our logo, you can manually do it using the pen tool or, go to layer, and select auto trace. Make sure time spam is set to current frame. And in option apply to new layer is unselected. Now you can see our complete logo is auto traced. Now let's make our Saba plugin to work. Make sure you have selected the logo composition. Now go to Effect, Video Copilot, select Saba. Now let's change the glow color. Here you can set any color you want for your logo animation. Let's change glow intensity to 15%. Core size to 1.5. Now let's customize our core. Let's first change the core type to layer masks. Now make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now let's create a keyframe for mask evolution. Now go at 2 seconds and 6 frames. Change mask evolution value to 2 rotations. Now go at 15 frames. Create a keyframe for start size. Change start size value to 0%. Now go at 2 seconds and 5 frames. Change start size value to 100%. Now come back to start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for end offset. Change end offset value to 0%. Now go at 1 second. Change end offset value to 100%. Let's hide the mask and shape path. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now press T to bring up the opacity. Go at 4 seconds. Create a keyframe for opacity. Now go at 4 seconds and 25 frames.
change opacity to 0%. Now let's add the logo composition to timeline. Press T to bring up the opacity. Now at 4 seconds and 25 frames. Create a keyframe for opacity. Now come back to 4 seconds. Change opacity value to 0%. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curve for RGB as shown. Now in effects and preset search for CC radial fast blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now for CC Radial Fast Blur, change amount to 95. Now go at 1 second and 20 frames. Create a keyframe for center. Now position the center as shown. Now go at 4 seconds. Change the position of center as shown. Now for adjustment layer, press T to bring up the opacity. Now come back to 1 second. Create a keyframe for opacity. Now change opacity to 0%. Now go at 2 seconds. Change opacity to 100%. Now go at 3 seconds. Create a keyframe for opacity. Now go at 4 seconds. Change opacity value to 0. Now for adjustment layer change mode to screen. Also for logo composition change mode to screen. For fast preview, change preview mode to quarter. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now add Flare 1 media file to the timeline. For Flare 1, change mode to screen. Now position the Flare below the logo. Perfect. Now press T to bring up the opacity. Now add 3 seconds, create a keyframe for opacity. Change opacity value to 0%. Go 10 frames forward. Change opacity value to 100%. Now add Flare 2 media file to timeline. For Flare 2, change mode to screen. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Now create a new camera layer. Now let's change our logo composition to 3D. Now create a null object. Change it to 3D. Now parent the camera to the null object. Now come back to start of the timeline. Find null object press P to bring up the position. Create a keyframe for position. Now go at end of the timeline. 
Now change the position value for Z axis, as shown. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as frame. Now draw mask as shown. Change mask mode to subtract. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our light streak logo animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.